FAO has a European Commission funded project on climate smart agriculture with three partner countries, that's Malawi, Zambia and Vietnam. The purpose of the project is to work with these partners to develop an evidence base, policy framework, strategy and investment proposals to implement agriculture for food security under climate change, i.e. that's climate smart agriculture. So the idea is that we're looking for how does climate change change, what kind of agricultural strategies you'd want to implement in order to achieve food security and economic growth, um, what policy frameworks have to change, what kind of strategies do you want, and how do you get this funded. That means we have several pieces of a project that have to work together, and the scenarios work is a really great tool, I think, for bringing together these pieces. In particular, we think the scenarios tool can be used to bring together the policy makers with the researchers that are working on the evidence base, so that we can get from the policy makers the kinds of questions they're worried about to build into the re evidence base, and we can also feed back to them the kind of uncertainty and uh, factors to think about when looking at towards the future. I've never had as, uh, an opportunity where you sit down for two days to talk to people about sort of what's happened in the past and what, what could happen in the future across a really wide range of possibilities. And, so that, and that brings a different level of understanding between two people. Or, you know, it, gives, it gives me a gr lot greater understanding of where people are coming from across a wider range of backgrounds. And uh, so that, that I think is one of the biggest strengths of the, the tool. And also it's quite structured so that you can start looking at, you know, here's some different options that you, you better consider even though they may you may think this is not very likely, but these are things that you need to consider when you're putting together big investment plans particularly. You know, it was very interesting uh, to see, I mean, this was my first time uh, see, seeing a scenario building process and uh, I was very impressed by how in such a short time we could come up with um, uh, so much information uh, first and, and also uh, actual storylines. I think the scenario are interesting and a lot of, uh, of, of points of view are putting in, put in the scenario and a lot of aspects need to be, you know, consider, uh, put in scenario. So I just wonder, and I really wish that the policy maker to, uh, to really pay attention on the scenario and, and take, it, take them in, into the, the action, you know. And I think there is a, I would say also a need to uh, raise awareness among the private sector in the CRV countries. Why? Because Paris and the CRV country, they are a lot less uh, sophisticated and uh, knowledgeable as compared to the private sector in more uh, developed countries like Singapore and Thailand and so forth. And so if you do not educate uh, private sector, raise their awareness, uh, they would still have no clue about all this climate change and uh, food security. You know, to them, they hear this day in, day out, but then nobody is actually paying due attention. So the main part of the workshop is quite interesting to me because uh, it is also our task, our uh, point of view to the, our future. It is more concerned with the Ministry of Agriculture because it's concerned with the life of the people, of the farmer, and we are in charge of this. Regional scenario is quite important. Now that we cannot separate country by country, with the climate change condition, we need to see the whole system and regional and or area based is one of the main uh, approach that we need to, to think about.